Thank you so much for having me. As Dana said, I suspect all of you can relate to some of the stories, but maybe not the solutions that we've come up with. We can all understand and relate to, you might be on vacation with your family, exploring a new city. Maybe you're running errands in your hometown, or maybe you're out for a bike ride or a run, and someone in your group needs to find a restroom. What do we do? Well, we begin the incredibly daunting task of looking for one. And doesn't that seem a bit crazy that with all of the technology in the world, we physically go look looking for a restroom? We pretend we're shopping in a store <laughs> so we can use the restroom and exit undetected. We also nonchalantly walk past the doorman of a hotel. Of course we're a guest, but we're really not. We're pretending so we can use the restroom and leave. And doesn't that seem crazy? We have smart technology, smart lighting systems, voice activated everything. You can detect how many feet are crossing in a crosswalk of a street, but you cannot find a restroom. And so we thought it was time. In fact, we thought it was long overdue because for decades, really generations, this whole area has been left untouched and is ripe for innovation. And so we built an app and we formed a company called good to go good to go is all about using IOT to have smart spaces. And we started with restrooms because it's one of the most broken things. And of course, everyone relates. So use your smartphone to find a location, tap your phone and the door opens. You don't need to be a germaphobe to appreciate that really no one wants to touch the handle. Many times you'll find a cue for the restroom, but who wants to wait outside a restroom door? No one. So use a virtual cue to keep the customer in the store rather than waiting outside the door. And let me show you what this looks like. Glenn and Sophie are visiting San Francisco. I love this app. We're always good to go. Hmm. I think I'm gonna get a coffee. Okay, I'm next in line. Okay. All right. No need to wait in line. The app does it for you. Using Bluetooth or a QR code, only you can unlock the automatic door. All features of the design are selected to maximize sustainability, a good-to-go core value. These are our values. You can hang your hat on them. Wherever you go, be good to go. So let me share a little bit more with you about how this all came together. We're based in San Francisco, as you could see in the video, and I was shocked to learn that in San Francisco, we have 27 million visitors every year, about a million residents, and 22 public restrooms most of which are in terrible condition. So of course everyone goes looking for an alternative, and the, the alternative is really right in front of us. 
take the network of restrooms that are available in retailers, cafes, coffee shops, grocery stores, and make it a digital network that you can easily access and solve the problem for the retailer at the same time you're solving a problem for the consumer and really improve it for everyone, the community and society. This is an everyday need and yet everyone struggles with it. So we've been working with retailers all over San Francisco. We have big brands like Whole Foods Market and we also have a small business model so that independent coffee roasters and mom and pop cafes can participate as well. We do require them to upgrade their fixtures to water conserving, motion censored. We install our technology on the door and we have a map pen that is added to the app and the store goes live. It's really as simple as that. So let me share with you what some of our retailers are telling us about being a good to go facility. It is absolutely one of the best decisions I have ever made. My customers are raving about the restroom. Good to go made a night and day difference in my store. It is a long overdue and very welcome solution. Why are retailers reacting this way? Well, what have we all experienced? Uh, a retailer really doesn't want to hand you a key which is attached to a giant spoon or fork or spatula. That's not what they want to do when they're creating a modern, um, enjoyable experience in their cafe. So now this system replaces keys and codes and in general dramatically upgrades and improves their facility, making it much more consumer friendly. And what are some of our customers saying? Well, it may be obvious why a customer would love this. What's not to love about convenient, modern, high tech, available, and the certainty and the reliability that you have by using a system? Let me share with you some of our customer quotes. This is a must have app for travelers. Every major city needs good to go. It is without a doubt that the, cons that the tourist industry is one of the largest that is in need of a solution like good to go. It's one thing when you're a resident in your hometown, you still struggle to find a restroom, but when you are in an unfamiliar city, it's even harder. So this has been fantastic for tourists who have come to San Francisco to visit, and we've gotten some amazing quotes like this one. The next quote we really relate to, this is how restrooms should be everywhere. Everyone who has used our facilities, and we are now up to 350,000 uses of the Good to Go network in San Francisco, and we get this feedback every day. This next quote is my favorite, and you'll see why in just a minute. Dude, that is so badass. That is the coolest restroom I have ever seen in my life. Who would ever think that anyone could get this excited about restrooms? But we've all become blind and ignorant to the conditions, and with technology, we can fix it, and we are. So I've told you a lot about a physical network of restrooms located in cafes, coffee shops, grocery stores, but what about areas that don't have the brick and mortar? Well, we have developed a mobile unit. A mobile unit that goes to parks, that goes to soccer fields, that goes to farmers markets to help fill a need outside of the brick and mortar, which is obvious. Toyota AI Ventures has recently become an investor and joined the board, and we are working with them to create mobility as a service in the form of a restroom, and I will tell you more about that in just a moment. We are working on a number of partnerships to help, as you've heard from many other speakers, 
when you have new technology, getting it into as many hands and many early adopters and wanting the technology to scale as quickly as possible. So who are we collaborating with and who are we exploring relationships and partnerships with to dramatically expand the footprint of good to go Well, who are the customers who we feel need it, and in some cases, need it the most? As you heard from Dana, I do have a healthcare background, and so it was very important to me when we formed this solution that a number of, of groups were really closely looked after. When you are in a wheelchair or when you have special needs, it can be particularly intimidating to leave your home if you don't feel you can have access to a restroom. So we are working with a local Japanese startup, Triple W. They have a wearable that notifies you of the need to use a restroom. It is a very cool device called D-Free standing for diaper free. So for medical conditions where you need access to a restroom, you're notified. Coupling that technology with the good to go technology, you are not only notified, but you are directed to the closest restroom. A fantastic collaboration that I hope to tell you a lot more about as that product expands globally. We are also exploring with Hitachi, who you heard from earlier today, how our smart technology can be integrated into many different environments. Of course, retailers, we talked about that earlier, but you can imagine digitizing spaces and having smart spaces is something that every environment needs, whether it's at the airport, on a school or corporate campus, the virtual queue part of our technology is portable to any environment. And lastly, and I mentioned this earlier, we are working with Toyota to take our mobile unit and convert it to an autonomous vehicle. So imagine this. You open the Good To Go app, you see you are not close to a physical restroom, and you order one to come to you. That is pretty cool. And this future is not very far off. We are aiming to showcase as a part of Toyota's e pallet technology at the 2020 Olympics here in Tokyo and also the Paralympics. So I hope to see you back here then, if not sooner. So it's clear the good to go technology solves what we all relate to, an everyday need to find a restroom. Whether it's a mobile restroom or an autonomous restroom, we feel that good to go can really solve that problem, create convenience, but also address a societal need. The good to go technology though can be applied to other situations that we all have in our busy, hectic lives, for example, when you enter an office building as a visitor, you often go through a somewhat complicated check-in process. But good to go has a system where much like a boarding pass, you go directly to your meeting. Your host is notified that you've arrived and the building management get valuable data about visitors. We also have a parking garage system. Rather than pulling a paper ticket, that we all put somewhere and then can't find when we need it, we forget where we've parked, let a system do it for you. Let good to go record where you parked, notify you when you come back to the garage and automatically charge you when you exit. These are all everyday needs that our technology as a suite of solutions can dramatically aid what we need every day. So what is good to go really about? It's about providing consumer solutions, increasing convenience, impacting society, and what we want for the consumer is that no matter where you go in your busy day and your busy lives, you will always be good to go. Thank you very much.